again and again to stand in solidarity with Palestine. First, I would like to thank the IPSC volunteers.
windows. We see every bombed refugee camp, every bombed school, every destroyed university, every besieged hospital. We see every death march they send the Palestinians on. We will not turn away as they round up men and boys to torture them in their prison camps and dungeons. We remember every medic, ambulance worker, journalist, teacher, every writer, every person murdered. And we say the names of those we can. Of little Hind Rajab, age six, murdered in a car surrounded by the bodies of her family, alone and afraid. Of Leanne, her 15-year-old cousin, shot dead by Israeli soldiers while she was on the phone to the Palestine Red Crescent Society. Of Yusuf Zeno and Ahmed Al Madoun, the ambulance crew who went to murder, rescue her, also murdered. And it's not possible to say the names of all the beautiful lost Palestinians, but we can do our best to hold their memories and to say that on the Dublin streets, we mark your passing, we mourn your loss, and we wish to say your names. And much as we mourn the dead, we have to keep fighting like hell for the living. Three 
to the UN Genocide Convention, we have legal and moral responsibilities to act to prevent genocide. We have the legislation. They must enact the Occupied Territories Bill, the Illegal Israeli Settlements Divestment Bill, push for an end to the EU-Israel Association, end the bilateral arms trade, acknowledge that Israel is committing the crime of apartheid, expel the Israeli ambassador, and join the South African case at the International Court of Justice. They must reflect our will. We are proud of our solidarity with the Palestinian people. We are proud to mobilize and stand with them week after week. And we want to be proud to say that our government has done something, anything, to take meaningful action to sanction Israel. We want to feel like South Africans. We have a proud history of fighting apartheid. And let's repeat that. The time is now. And in the midst to be hopeful about. The countless more people now boycotting Israeli goods. And even though the basketball team played Israel, the sporting boycott was in the mainstream media for weeks. The cultural boycott is growing rapidly. More than 2,000 Irish artists have signed our pledge to boycott apartheid Israel. Complicit companies are seeing their shares plummet and are pulling out. And the news that Israel is a toxic brand is spreading. The boycott movement will bring the Palestinians a long way on the road to freedom. BDS is unstoppable. And look around you. This is something. This is hope. We get energy from each other, from internationalism, from solidarity, and from this collective refusal of violence, injustice, and oppression. We get hope from this movement for liberation. Let it be a tale. And we also take hope from Palestinian resilience and courage, from their steadfast refusal to waver in their freedom, justice, and equality. And we know that the refugees will return to their homes, that beautiful Gaza will be rebuilt. And we know that Palestine will be free. To our Palestinian sisters and brothers in Gaza, in the West Bank, in exile, in prisons, we send you all our love and solidarity from the streets of Dublin. We are with you. Our solidarity is unbreakable. End Israeli apartheid. End the occupation. End the siege of Gaza.